Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah!
Please do so now. Amen. We are praying for all the sick and shut in. Hallelujah. We thank God for how he has blessed our state superintendent, Bishop Oscar Palmer. We're praying for Brother Allen Washington. We're praying for Sister Flora Washington, who had a fall on this week. Our brother Lord Christmas, who we've gotten a good report. Amen. He may be coming home soon. Our brother Louis Christmas. Amen. Give God praise. Our brother George Raglan, our brother Levi Goshen. Amen. We are praying for our Deacon Henry Anderson, our brother Randy Coleman, and Sister Chasetta Simmons, Mr. Monique Whiting, Brother J. W. Whiting's. Amen. Our brother Felton Raglan. Amen. All the bereaved families. Amen. Those that have loved lost ones. Those that are just in not in a good place. Hallelujah. But we know God is able. We are praying for our chief apostle, Apostle Thomas Clark and his family. We pray for his assistant, uh, our Apostle George Daly and his family. We're praying for all of our past pastors. We're praying for um, Apostle James Pascal. He and his wife both under the weather. We are praying for them. Hey, we are praying for our Bishop Lorenzo Manderson of Dallas, Texas. Amen. Hallelujah. Those that we have met along the way said, pray for me. Amen. We are praying for them. Amen. Amen. We pray for our President Joe Biden and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. I need thee, oh, I need thee, oh, yes, every hour, yes, Lord, I need thee, oh, bless Bless me right now, my Savior. I come, oh, oh, yes, I come to thee.
Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. As we look to you right now, hallelujah, in prayer. We thank you, hallelujah, for oh, yes. that you have blessed us to been able us to see. How you brought us down yeah. for another week. Keep us from all hurt, harm, and day. Oh. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, glory to God, for blessing us to assemble once again into your sanctuary. Yeah. Bless everyone oh. that's here today, glory yes. to God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes. And as we are, Bless me. We asked you right to now, the desire that you couldn't come to say those that may be yeah. here sick, everywhere I, everywhere sick, on hospital beds, hallelujah, glory to God, in their homes, glory to God. We ask you to look on those that are institutions of all kinds, glory to God. We're thanking you, glory to God, for such being a, such a loving, a caring father that hears and answers prayer from time to time. Hallelujah. Remember the names, glory to God, that have been called out today, glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless thy holy name. Lord, we just thank you, glory to God. Hallelujah. We ask you to look on this nation, glory to God. And we ask, hallelujah, that you turn the nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you. Give those, hallelujah, mind that want to pray. Hallelujah, glory to God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 every situation, bless. every trouble, every problem, every condition, everywhere, bless Lord. Me. In Jesus' name. Right Lord, now, just thank you, Lord, for what you have done so and going to do, Lord. Yeah. We thank you that we're in the year of miracles signs and wonders, Lord God. Thank you for bodies that you've already touched and healed, and those that you're going to touch and heal, in Jesus' holy name. We're just wanting to thank you. We just thank you for the God that you are. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. For your precious son, Jesus. Hallelujah. That he came, suffered, bled, and died on the cross, that we may have a right to eternal life. Praise the Lord. Thanking you, glory to God, for this being your day. Hallelujah. Appointed that we could keep this appointment with you. Hallelujah, glory to God. The Sabbath of rest in you and for you. Praise the Lord, glory to God. We ask you to bless the service throughout the day. Bless our pastors that's going to bring the word. And hallelujah. Give them. Help us to be a listening posture for right your word now, today. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. A leading lady, bless glory to God. All the ministry, glory yeah. to God. Everyone, ah. hallelujah, that has come ah. and assembled before you this day. We're thanking oh, yes. you. Hallelujah. And help us to continue to give you thanks and praise, glory, and honor that you deserve. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Help us oh, yes. to glorify your holy name. I ask this in yes. Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. How you check out power. Yes, Lord. I need you. Oh, bless me. Bless me, bless me, right now, my Savior, Savior, I come, oh, oh yes, I come to Thee. Body minister, minister Esther. Uh, amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. One more week, God. You've allowed us to come back into your house. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 
for the church liturgy. Matthew's is 22nd chapter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. As his spirit moves from heart to heart and breast to breast. Hallelujah. Matthew's the 22nd chapter, verses 36 through 40. Math Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Matthews, the sixth chapter, verses 9 to 13. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, Our Father, which art, which art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done in earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this, this day, day our, our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our, our debts, debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us, lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. For thine, thine is, is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and, and the glory. glory forever. Amen. Amen. Matthews, the sixth chapter and the 14th verse says, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. And your response is coming from Matthews, the sixth, sixth chapter and the 15th verse. But if, but if you forgive, forgive not men, men their trespasses, trespasses Neither, Neither will your heavenly Father, Father forgive, forgive you of, of your, your trespasses. trespasses. You may be seated, and at this time we'll have our praise and worship team to please come forward. Victory, victory shall be mine. Victory, victory shall be mine. Hold your peace. Let the Lord God fight your battle. Victory shall be mine. Come on. Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. Hold your peace. Joy, 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 joy shall be mine. Joy, joy shall be mine. Oh, joy, joy shall be mine. Hold oh, your peace, Lord, fight your battle. Joy, joy shall be mine. Joy, 
Let the Lord die fight Hold your peace. Let the Lord 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 fight the battle. Hold your peace. Let the Lord fight the battle. Joy is never my Hallelujah. How many of y'all, sometimes you just got to hold your peace. You got to let God fight your battle. He might bring you to it, but he's also going to bring you through it. But he didn't always say you had to fight. He just brought you there. Sometimes he just wants you to praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give his name to praise and forget about your problems. Because you can't change them anyway. You got to lean on his everlasting name. Yeah. He's not going to lean on yours. You got to lean on his. Yes. Hallelujah. He's worthy of praise and glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, he's worthy today. I swear. He's worthy. Yes, sir. Somebody ought to raise their hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And give him glory. Yeah. Because he deserves it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's worthy today. He's worthy. I wish two or three of you would get it in your mind. Yes, you got to get in a posture of praise. How many know this? You got to get in a position of praise. Sometimes we don't receive because we're not in position. Come on. Y'all, y'all missed that. I said we didn't receive because we were not in position. Come on. I remember, I remember playing sports, and, and I would play soccer. I'd play basketball, and I didn't always have the ball, but sometimes I learned how to get in position. And watch this, watch this. There was an adversary always against me. Yeah. And I remember, I thought about this this morning. My dad, sometimes my dad would be my coach. And my dad, he knew how to get to me. He said, son, you need to focus. Huh? Focus. It doesn't matter what the adversary is doing. You got to focus. Huh? Get your head back in the game. And that's what we got to do. Sometimes we get knocked down. We get knocked out. Seem like we got to get up. We got to get back in this game. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Get your head in the game. Yes. How he's worth. That's all right. Bow down and worship him. Worship Him, oh, worship Him, bow down and worship Him, enter in, oh, enter Him. Worship, 
worship him. Oh, worship. Oh, worship him. Bow down and worship him. Bow down and worship him. Enter in. Enter in. Oh, enter in. Consuming fire. Consuming. Consuming fire. Sweet perfume. Sweet Awesome presence, awesome presence, build this consuming fire, consuming fire, sweet perfume, his awesome presence, awesome Presence, yeah, consuming fire, consuming, consuming fire, sweet perfume, sweet perfume, awesome, his awesome presence, yeah, yeah. one more time. God's holy.
One more time. You're, you're on holy ground, so bad, 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 Lord, you 
You don't have to do anything special. And I believe God will honor that. Yes. Hallelujah. Can you feel the presence of God in this room? Oh, Lord, he's going to do things for us, but we just got to trust him. It's not about doing all these extravagant things. It's just loving on the Lord. It's just sometimes he just wants to hear thank you. Sometimes he just wants to, he wants to bless you, but he just needs you to be thankful and grateful. Dude. 
Hallelujah. 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 Worship. Oh. Just interject this while you're praising. On last Sabbath, we had several people that had procedures on Monday. And I heard from several of them, and I did not hear one negative report. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy today. He's worthy. I'm wondering, does anybody have a testimony they want to give? I don't want to break it up, but hallelujah. Anybody got a burning testimony? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know if I need this mic. I can only speak connected to your vine. You're the husband man and I'm the branch. And I must stay connected to that branch to bear fruit. And with me bearing fruit, that gives you glory. But I want to thank the Lord because when I first came, I came from a Baptist church. We weren't taught how to pray. And when I first, I came here through Sister Lucy and asked my regular and it really grieves my heart not to see her children, her grandchildren. And, but I, I keep praying. But I came through her. And I didn't know how to pray. But when I came, the first thing, I didn't really learn how to pray. But I knew how to say something. And when I came, I came from a situation where I was in a house. I was, there. I was in a house with no parents, no supervision. I had nothing but a house, a roof over my head, and the door wasn't even on hinges. But she brought me in a way. And two things when I came, I learned to do. The first two things I learned was to, I asked God for food. I learned how to pray and I asked him for food. And that Monday morning when I left church that Saturday, that Monday morning I went to the mailbox, and it was a check for $30. From that time on, I began to pray even more. And I had another prayer. When I was 14, my auntie got us a job at the downtown of Motor Inn. It was three of us cousins. And we used to see you going to your job with your black apron on. I think you might have been a waitress across the street. And I would see you, and we would holler at you, but you couldn't hear that we were far up. I said, one day I'm going to get to know her. I was close to Vicky. We were in school together. But on that job, there was a man who worked there. We worked there for years. We were just kids. And there was a man who worked there named Jimmy. And he would, we would get there early, and we would have to sit in the little room before you go up on the floor. To, you couldn't go up until 9 o'clock, so we had to sit in this little room, and we would all sit there and talk. And he talked to us for years, and he told us that he had been in prison and how long he was in prison. And he told us all the things that went on in there and all the horrible things that he did. And that man put so much fear in me about prison. And when my son finally went, I mean, you think I didn't freeze for real? Remember all that stuff that that man had told us? And we worked there for years. And when we left, we were there for a long time. When we left, we heard he had gone back to prison for doing the same thing he had done the first time. He killed a man. And he would come up on the floor. He knew we were scared of him. 
but he would never do anything to us. But he knew we were young, and he knew that we was afraid of him. And he always told us, he said, I don't go anywhere without my gun. And he would show us that gun, and I, he, we would take off running. <laughs> and we would just run. But it was two things that I prayed for. I prayed for food, and I prayed for Jimmy when I heard he had gone back to prison. I never saw him, heard from him. And on yesterday, some friends of ours, we tried to get together as much as possible, our school friends. And we had gotten together, about 11 of us, and we went to Wood Grill. And we had such a good time. And this man came and he said, I want to just bless you all. And I want to tell you that I'm running for Jesus. And on his pen, it was his name, Jimmy. And I said, Jimmy, come here. I said, are you the man that worked at the hotel? Do you remember Tony Gloria and, and Michelle? He said, yes. He said, when I went back to prison, before I got to the prison, when I was in my jail cell, I got his testimony. I want you all to see it. He said, before I even got to prison, I walked in my jail cell and a rainbow came in the, in the cell. And it said, it just totally transformed my life. And he said, I've never been the same. So he'd been out for years, and all he does is go from place to place with his Bible, witnessing and telling people about Jesus. I saw it had been over 50 years. God saved that man and sanctified him. And the waitress came back, and she said, someone has paid for all of your meals. And he had gone and paid for our meals. Great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Giving birth to her son and her and her husband, because I know Shay had a little rough time in the beginning. But when I got the phone call, they was here and they were doing well. All I said was, "God be the glory." God and be I the know Shay was the glory. God bless him with another grandson. Y'all pray after the Lord. Hallelujah. think about Jesus, what he's done for me, when I think about Jesus, how he set me free, I can dance, 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 all night. When I think about Jesus, what he's done for me, when I think about Jesus, how he set me free, I can dance, 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 all night. I think about 
Jesus, what he's done for me. What I think about Jesus, how he set me free. I can dance, 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 Think about Jesus, what is up for me? What I think about Jesus, how he set me free. I can dance, 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 all night. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. I wish somebody. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Is he worthy today? 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 Hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was on my way to church today, I said, okay, I was getting ready to pass this car. <laughs> and the, when I got passed, the car cut me off. I almost hit the ditch, glory to God. But I said, I said, I run on the side of the road, and I said, Lord, I thank you, car and that mess up, and I'm all right. And I said, well, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 
the law is good all the time. Woo, you better praise them. Hallelujah. <laughs> is kind of quiet today. God has been too good, amen. Too good. So we're going to ask all of you to rest your seats for a minute. Just rest your seats. Amen. And you're going to think on the goodness of Jesus. And you're going to think about all the things he's done for you. The fact that you got up this morning your right mind you know when one family member got up this morning the other one didn't get up because the other one was gone but God bless you to see another Sabbath and we're gonna ask the musicians to give us some give us some good music and we're gonna give you an opportunity to give the Almighty some praises in any form and, and fashion that you praise him Give him some praises, for he is worthy. Whew. You know what, when, I, when my grandson is tired and he don't feel like moving, and we can't get him going, and he's in a, in a state, there's a little song we sing, and we sing, shake, 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 shake the devil off. All in my home, shake him off. All in my body, shake him off. Hallelujah, because God deserves all the praises. We're going to give you a couple of minutes to go ahead and give God some praises. Connect with your Father and thank Him and praise Him for just another day. All right, we'll give you a minute or two. All right, musicians. God, we praise you. Hallelujah. God, we lift you up. Yes, sir. God, we worship you. Yes, sir. We do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your holy name. Hallelujah. Nobody like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Glory. How great you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right, all right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 We truly give honor to the Almighty today who is worthy of all praises. Amen. We give honor to the God of Israel. Amen. As Minister Tony said, there are many gods. There's only one God of Israel. Amen. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who we worship. That's who we praise. Amen. And we honor God. Amen. We praise him. We worship him. We thank him. Hallelujah. For his goodness his mercy, and his kindness. How many of you know he didn't have to do it, but he did? Hallelujah. Whew. He didn't have to wake you up this morning, but he did. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're constantly hearing reports of individuals going to bed. And the next morning, their family come to wake them up, and guess what? They're going on to glory. But God didn't allow that for us today. He allowed us to be here. Hallelujah. That's why we owe him a praise. That's why we got to worship him. Glory to God. Because so many things he do for us. Hallelujah. So many blessings. Not because we deserved it but because he's good. Hallelujah. And we praise him for that. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My little, I tell you what. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. My little grandson been saying all morning, we're going to church. We're going to church. He said, Ma, we're going to church. Glory to God. And I'm so grateful he got his dance in, in church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You better bless him, baby. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Again, we honor the Lord. Amen. Thank God for the angel of this house. Amen. Our Apostle James Raglan. Thank God for his wife, our leading lady, Jane Raglan. Thank God for our ministry. Amen. Thank God for our deacons, all of the saints that have gathered here today. Thank God for our musicians. Amen. And we just honor the Lord. Amen. How he has blessed each of us to come back into his household of faith. Amen. We thank God for all of our guests that are here today or our visiting saints, amen, that are here today. Amen. We thank God for each of you, amen. Amen. And at this time, we're going to yield the floor if any of our guests would like to have remarks at this time. Please feel free to do that. Amen. If no more than to stand up and let us know where you're coming from, amen, and, and we'll, be, we'll be happy to hear from you. Amen. 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 Mike, please. Thank you. Uh, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I'm giving honor to God who's ahead of my life. Um, and me and my friend are coming from Kentucky. We're just visiting family and friends. Um, but having a great time here and loving to see everybody. You have tons of welcoming faces and everything. And love to see, praise God with you guys. Thank Amen. you for having us here. Also, my name is Yasmin Bray, everybody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Listen, if only y'all knew. If only y'all knew. Amen. I said I wasn't going to take the mic. Bless the Lord. But I just feel so welcome. I appreciate all of you that I have gotten the chance to speak to. My name is Ashara Stoner. I'm here with my dear friend Yasmin, as she said. I'm just so happy to be here. Amen. I'm sit down. Happy to have you. Amen. 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 Then we're going to go over to the other side of the temple. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Give an honor to God, uh, Pastor First Lady. Um, I'm, this is not my first time coming, but I had, um, before the pandemic, um, was a, had came, we had, I had my goddaughters, and this is their grandmother, and when they moved to Orange, and when they moved on their own, they was looking for a church, and we found Emmanuel, and after the pandemic, well, during the pandemic, I had came to the truth. I was in Baptist church. I had came to the truth knowing that what God had set on my heart to do and what God has led me, you know. But in the midst of traveling to Emmanuel, visiting my goddaughters and the grandmother, there was a piano lady in the church. I, um, she was just so, so pleasant, and the girls took to her, and I was fine. I was like, the Lord just let me know the girls are fine. And then, like I said, when I converted over, it just dawned on me, I had been coming up with Mother Jew. And, you know, the more I came up, the more I was learning things. And then this past week, last um, Sabbath when I was here, then I kept wondering why I knew your leading lady. It wasn't, it didn't dawn on me until Mother Jew told me, oh, leading lady plays piano and everything too and then it dawned the Lord said that's her and I said well I got a surprise for my goddaughters and the grandmother 
And I called her and I said, I got a surprise for you. I need you to go with me next Saturday. I, I said, she said, do we got to dress up? I said, yeah, you can dress up. I said, you know, but I just wanted them. And I knew they missed it, her. And when it dawned on me that it was her, I just wanted to serve God because God wanted me to bring them here. You know. So, and... <laughs> but I give God all the glory and all the honor for guiding me and delivering me. And like he says, the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. And we're going to have some hard-headed ones because Israelites are hard-headed. We are the hard-headed people. So I just thank him and give him all the honor and all the glory for what he brought me through and what he's going to do through him and through his will only and not by ours. So I thank you for this opportunity. Amen. 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 Grandma, would you like to have some words? <laughs> Amen. We thank God for our sister Nisi being here. She's, she's not guest. Amen. But we thank God for you. Would you like to just have a, a quick testimony just to let us know how you're doing? Amen. I thank God for being here and all Amen. for you. Thank you for the pastor and his, and his wife, First Lady. Um, let's see, let's see. I want God to get the glory out of this. Um, I was, I kept thinking, should I testify? Shouldn't I testify? So you put me on the spot. Um, God is a miracle worker. Yes, he is. So, um, it hurts my heart when I hear pe that people have that height of suicide or people are suffering with depression. And I will always, you know, I've told my story, uh, testimony many times. But my mom says that uh, Minister Thurston tells his testimony every Sabbath, so I should keep telling mine. <laughs> so um, I don't want to be before you long, but uh, from the age of, I'd say, uh, through my childhood, but between the age of 18 and 21, I started to suffer uh, from depression. And uh, before I turned 21, I started um, battling with thoughts of suicide. <laughs> I want God to get the glory out of this because I keep hearing about people suffer from depression and suicide. So, um, If you never suffer from depression, it's hard to explain, but it's like um, a cloud over you, over you. And the things you used to do to get out of it or to feel better doesn't work anymore. I mean, physical, fleshly things, you know. So I started thinking about suicide, and I had insomnia at the time. And no matter what you do to get peace, it's like you can't find peace. So, um... I knew it was a sin, so thank God for people, you know, my grandmother and people around me, so I knew to take your life was a sin, and I was always taught it was unforgivable and you would go to hell, but it's like you're trapped. So, fast forward, one day my aunt, uh, Aunt Audrey just says to me, you know, why don't you go to church with me? So I went to church with her. The first night, it was a revival at the church, and uh, I felt better when I left the church, but they didn't do an altar call. So the next time I got the revival, I went back, and I said, they do an altar call. You know, I want to give my life to Christ. So as I was sitting there with my Aunt Rita, you know, I'm praying, and at that time, I was looking all around. I was so disconnected at that time. I could see other people praising God, hands up, and they were praising. I could see that they were entering into something that I could not feel. So I kept saying, God, if you are real, I need, I need you to take this off of me. So that night, the minister did an altar call. So as he did an altar call, as I was approaching the altar, I could feel 
the presence of God entering me, and I could feel whatever that demonic oppressing possession leaving me. And I was falling down as I went to the altar, and I received, you know, Christ as my Savior. So at that, when I received Christ, the spirit of peace fell on me immediately. I slept every single night after that. I didn't have insomnia anymore. And the thought patterns that I had before that would overcome me started to change. And I knew it was the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to say, entering my mind, changing my thought patterns. Because things that used to possess my thought patterns, I would feel him come in and change the whole thought pattern with his spirit. So I know some of us have to go to therapy, and I, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I want you to know at this time in the land there is miracles still do, he still performs miracles. You can go to the altar and be instantly healed of mental or physical ailments. And I feel like this is not being said, and it just grieves my heart every time I hear someone say that they commit, that someone, you know, usually, um, someone that's famous committed suicide and so I just want you all to know that God is able he is still a miracle worker and I give all glory to God amen 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 come on let's give the Lord a hand praise hallelujah for still being a miracle worker hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus amen Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for sharing that with us. Amen. Hallelujah. And we pray that will be food for our souls. Glory to God. That God is still working miracles. And he's instantly working miracles. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That means you don't have to leave here the same way you came. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's amazing because that's just bearing witness to something I was meditating on last night and it seemingly when we have alts in our lives and things going on and it looks like it takes forever but it doesn't have to take forever for God to do what he needs to do hallelujah because he's a right now God amen we thank God for each of our visitors that stood and gave remarks, we thank God for your being here with us. And we pray that your visit here today will make you want to come back again, again, and again. Amen. For this is the house of God, the holy church of a living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. It's the house of prayer for all people. Glory to God. And we welcome you. Glory to God. We welcome you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to move on with the service. Amen. Amen. And this is this is just to serve as a... Um, um, just the pastor would like to see all ministry after service today so when you when church is let out all ministers if you will please to head to apostles office amen and at this time we're going to prepare for our offerings yes 
It'll just be a brief meeting, so if once we dismiss, if you will, just come on in, and then we'll have our brief meeting, and then we can go. Amen. This time, we're going to prepare for our offerings. Amen. And if you will, please rest your seats. And we'll be reading from Malachi, the third chapter, first verse 1. And then verses 3 through 12. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, you've gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye say, wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there is, shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the deviler for your sakes. And he shall not destroy the fruit of your grounds. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for you shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. We're going to ask our pastor to please come and ask God blessings upon your offerings. Amen. Amen. Let me say this before I um, ask God's blessing on the uh, offering. The altar today is open. What do I mean Hallelujah. by that? Anytime during this service, anytime, whether I'm preaching, somebody's singing, if you are so led and you just want to come and kneel before the altar, you can do that. Anytime, anytime. Um, because there's a spirit of deliverance in here today. <laughs> If you come forth, nobody's going to bother you. We may anoint you with oil while you're here, but folks not going to be all over you. If the Spirit move upon you, of course, we'll make sure you know, you're you protected. All than that is between you and God. Amen. But I want you to know there is a spirit of deliverance. Please take it. Please take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Don't let this don't let this day pass. Hallelujah. Don't let this day pass. Woo! Thank you Jesus.
Isn't it marvelous when God has his way? I'm going to remain of this service. If God touch your heart and lead you to this altar, don't you worry about what's going on. You come. It's not every day that he troubles the water. Oh, but when he does, get to the prayer. Hallelujah. There is still room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for one. There is room at the cross for you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. what God is going to do but I know I can't stand in his way hallelujah hallelujah I don't know what he's going to do but I cannot stand within his way gracious father we come at this hour 
ask your blessing upon the offering. Father, we ask you to bless our free will giving. Bless our tithes, Lord. Bless the giver. Hallelujah. That you will return it to them as you see fit, as they have need of. Hallelujah. We have done the thing that you asked us to do. We come to present our free will offering tithes, the 10% of our increase. So we ask your blessings upon us. All these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God for the service services so far. Amen. Amen. And at this time, 
We're going to have a selection from our brother Quentin Edwards. Oh, get them first. All right, we're going to get uh, remarks, I'm sorry, from our ministers first. And we're going to start with those ministers that are in the audience. Um, our evangelist, um, Teresa. Amen. Are there any other ministers in the audience that I may be overlooking? If not, we'll start with our evangelist, Teresa, and then we'll move our way on up to the rostrum, and we're going to start with a minister, um, Raglan, and we'll come around that way. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. God is good. Yeah. All right. Y'all were weak there. Amen. We thank God for this beautiful service thus far. Amen. It's been such a blessing to me. I thank God for, I give honor to my apostle and lady. Amen. All the other ministers, elders, deacons, saints, friends. I thank God for my nieces, my great nieces that wanted to come to church with me today. Amen. And they said, can we have one of your coverings? I said, sure you can. Amen. So I just bless God. I feel so good. I feel real good. So I'm not going to talk because I feel real good. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I want to hear my bishop, my apostle. I really need the word today. Amen. I need it every day. Amen. But I need a little something to push me. Amen. Hallelujah. So I thank God for each and every one of you. And I don't know why. She's been on my mind, Mother M. Amen. She's just been on my heart. I just bless God for you. Amen. And you, you're just a special person. And I thank God for you on today. Hallelujah. So pray my strength in the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh. Amen. I don't claim no much. But one thing I do know, God is able. God is able. Hey, hey. Woo. Take you through. Oh, yes.
give honor to the Lord, give honor to the Lord for our pastor, leading lady, all of the ministry, and to all that's in the household of faith today. Truly, I just thank the Lord, how he's in the midst of us, how he's blessed us to see another Sabbath, to come into his house, to meet with him, be in his presence, to hear his word. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah, thank God for being who he is. Thank him for his son, Jesus. Thank him for the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank the Lord for my heart is just full. I want to also thank the Lord for my son, how the Lord is blessing him to continue to recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you and praise the Lord for my great grandson, three months old, that's in the presence of the Lord today. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God. I thank God for all that he's doing, what he's doing, what he's going to do. Praise be to God. Hallelujah from whence all blessings flow. Woo, 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 woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Just, just take it, take it. <laughs> Amen. How did you feel when you came out the wilderness? Saints of the Most High God. Be strong, be of good courage, for the Lord thy God is with thee, wheresoever you go. Thank the Lord. Amen. And at this time, we'll have um, a selection from our brother, Quentin Edwards. Receive him with a hearty amen. amen.
to prepare our hearts and our minds and we want to get into a listening posture amen as the word of God comes forth if you will please rest your seats to recognize the spirit hallelujah the spirit of God 
in our pastor today that's going to bring forth our word. Our apostle James Raglan, receive him with a hearty amen as he comes. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. We do honor the Lord today for our being here. God is so good. I just love it when the Lord, hallelujah, come into our services and make his presence known. Amen. Amen. I give honor to God, first of all, and to my wife and our leading lady, Evangelist Jane Raglan. To Elder Thurston in his absence, Evangelist Farlo, who's joined us, I'm sure, by Facebook Live. And Evangelist Edith uh, Goodwin, we thank God for her. And Evangelist Turner in Tidewater. Evangelist Teresa, God bless you. God bless you. Teresa shared something with me earlier this week, and I won't go into it. That's her testimony. But her vision ain't what she thought it was, huh? <laughs> the doctor gave her a good report. And Minister Esther, God bless you. Minister Chandler, Minister Wesley, Minister Tony, amen. And Minister Tony, I know you, I don't know how long you're going to be here. I know you're going to be here off and on, but if you don't mind when the ministers come, to join me, if you don't mind coming back there, and just I'm keep just for a few minutes, Amen. I thank God for our mother M, Amen. Being with us today, all of our deacons, Amen. Those that are present, those that are not, we thank God for all of you. To you, the people of God. I said it a couple of times, and I'm gonna say it again. The altar is open. Don't worry about what somebody else think. Don't even worry about why they think you came. That ain't their business. Amen. My granddaughter sings a song sometime, God wants to heal you. Everywhere you hurt. God wants to deliver you. Everywhere you need deliverance. He thinks just that much of you. Think about it. Somebody said, little, little old me. Huh? There are some among us today that are contemplating some things. And this is for you. Oh, how well do I remember how I doubt the day by day, for I did not know for certain that my sins were all washed away when the Spirit tried. To tell me the truth I would not receive. I endeavor to be happy and to make myself myself believe that it's real it's real oh I know it's really real praise God Praise God, all my doubts are settled, and I know, mm, I know, 
I know for my sake it's really real. It's real. It's real. Oh, I know it's really real. Praise God. Praise God. You ought to praise God. All of my doubts are settled. And I know. Mm, yes, I know. I know it's really real. Precious Father, we come at this hour to say thank you. Father, we thank you for how you blessed us. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity you have given us and is now given us to share with your people just a word to strengthen them. Hallelujah. Just a word to encourage them. Just a word to let them know that you have never left them nor forsaken them. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we ask all these blessings in your name today, Lord, that the words we share, there'll be spirit and there'll be life. Hallelujah. Let it not fall on deaf ears, but speak to the hearer, that they will not only be a hearer of your word, but a doer also. For all these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Go with me to the book of Hosea chapter 10. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 10 and verse 12. To those that are joined, have joined us today here at the house of God for the first time, we said, welcome to the house of God. And for those that returning but not here often, we said, thank you for coming back. Amen. Sow to yourself in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Mm -hmm. Our thought is taken from the middle part of that verse. Break up your fallow ground. For it's time. To seek the Lord. Huh? Break up your fallow ground. For it's time to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. So we say, Lord, help us to surrender every past experience, every unhealed hurt, all the unresolved issues that we have. All of our unmet needs. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, that we will surrender these things over to you. See, these are the things that many times prevent the people of God from being where God wants them to be. We can't get past where we've been made to feel. We can't get past what we have experienced in life. What we have experienced in the church, what we have experienced in our families, what we have experienced on, in our workplaces, what we have experienced just among those that call us friends. But today we ask the Lord to help us to be able to surrender those things to him. Hallelujah. And I believe that, that if we would ask God to surrender, hallelujah, those things unto him, I believe he'll do it. Hallelujah. But it's up to you. You have to have a desire. That was the prophet Hosea speaking. And it's amazing. When God got something he wants to say, he may share it with more than one of his prophets. That was written thousands of years ago. And after that, even at that same, during that same era, Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 3. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, break up your fallow ground 
and sow not among thorns. Some of us going through the issues, going through the motions of church. Huh? Been faithful to church. Hallelujah. But we got some fallow grounds that need to be broken up. What, what are the fallow grounds? Hallelujah. These are the things that does not or make it unproductive. Hallelujah. You can't move forward. You can't grow. Hallelujah. Seeds won't grow in a fallow ground. Huh? Break off all your evil habits. Clear your hearts of weeds. In order that they be prepared for the seed of righteousness. We want our hearts today prepared for the seed of righteousness. The seed of righteousness is going to be sown among us. But if our hearts are not prepared, it won't do us any good. Y'all remember the, the pair of the sower? How the sower went out to sow and seeds that he sowed were good seeds. But they fell on all kinds of ground. Not every seed sown was fall, has fallen on good ground. Some of the ground, hallelujah, wasn't so good. And, this, and in this parable, it tells us that the seeds that fell on ground that was not good, it didn't bring up anything. Hallelujah. And that's not us. We don't want to be that. We want to, when God so upon us, among us, we want it to be on good ground. Y'all here to tell the evangelists? When they try to get money out of you, um, Brother Sebastian, don't let me leave today without anointing your grandson. Um, you know, when, when the televangelists want to get a few dollars out of you, what are the things that they promise you? Huh? You're so, you can send your money here. Why? Because this is good ground. Now, they can convince themselves. I'm not so sure they're going to convince me. But you, under, well, you understand what we are saying. When people hear that something is good ground, then they expect if I sow into it, I'm going to get a harvest. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you know, anybody, most of us here are country, and a few may not be, but for those that are, we plant one little kernel of corn. One little kernel of corn. And when that goes into good ground, a stalk will grow up taller than I am. Hallelujah. And when that stalk grows up, usually there are two ears on that stalk. And when you shuck off the, 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 the outside of those ears of corn and look at what's in there, you see so many little kernels. Why? Because that one little kernel of corn was sown in good ground. Amen. And we have to recognize that if I'm not good ground today, it doesn't mean that I can't be. Some people have accepted the state that they are in as if they're going to always be there. But I stopped by to let you know today, you don't have to stay. Hallelujah. In the shape that you're in. Huh? You don't have to stay where you are. Hallelujah, you've been dwelling on unproductive things. You've been dwelling too long on how you've been treated. You've been dwelling too long that somebody didn't speak to you. You've been dwelling too long on prayers that you answered, and God did not answer the prayer that you prayed, and God did not answer you the way you want it. You get mad with the preacher, it's one thing. But when you get mad with God, because he didn't answer the prayer. Whew. Hallelujah. You're getting upset that God did not answer your prayer. Oh, but you got to come to the understanding that no is an answer. And if the Lord said no, he said no for your good. You might understand, you might not understand today why God said no. But if you keep on living, whew, the thing that you were angry with God about for saying no, in days to come, you're going to be thanking him. Huh? Lord, I thought that's what I needed. I thought that's what I wanted. But as your heart softens 
And as you become good ground, so the Lord can start talking to you and you start hearing what he is saying, you can be hollering Thanksgiving. You won't wait till the fourth Wednesday in November to holler Thanksgiving. You can start hollering Thanksgiving now. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you that you didn't let the thing work out the way I wanted to. Because I recognize now it was to my detriment. Some of y'all got some whole lot of stuff that God is waiting to hear. Lord, I thank you. But you ain't got there yet. Keep on coming. Keep on calling him. And I declare to you. Praise be to God. That when he really changed your heart. When he really caused you to forget those things that are behind. Huh? All those bad feelings. All those disappointments. When you thought your life did not turn out the way you wanted it to. And see, some people got that way when they were old adults. But there were some picked that up as children. Huh? They got that way when they were children. And when they felt that as a child, guess what? Satan said, oh, I see. And he began to compound it. Every year, something go on. When you think you're going to be free, something else happened. And then something else. And to the point that Satan got your heart so hard. Now you've been to church and they told you in church that you couldn't have a hard heart. So you learn to fake it real good. But you can't fake it with God. Don't you know God knows your heart? Huh? He knows every disappointment you had. He knows the ones you brought upon yourself. Huh? He knows the ones that somebody else inflicted upon you. Some of y'all had the audacity to say, Lord, why was I even born in this family? Look across the street. Look in your classroom. And it looked like everybody else was doing better than you. And you get, get upset with the Lord because he placed you in the family he placed you. But all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and all the call. According to his purpose. If God got a purpose for you, he put you in the family he wants you to be in. You still mad with mom and daddy. They going on living their lives and you still mad. Position yourself and say, Lord, what would you have me to do? Oh, I thank and praise God today. <laughs> Unplowed ground won't let crop grow. Hmm? If you got fallow, if you in fallow ground, nothing can grow. They can come out there and throw all the seeds they want on you. Come back two or three weeks later. What gonna spring up when the ground was too hard for the seed to go down in? Huh? Sowing in righteousness simply means doing the right thing in the sight of God. That's all it is. It is obeying the word no matter what the circumstances are. Whatever your circumstances, there is no circumstance you could be in that justify you not obeying God's word. Huh? No matter what it may look like, you still got to obey God's word. You got to show kindness even when it's undeserved. They don't deserve my kindness. Well, that might be true, but guess what? You got to show kindness. You got to walk in love. Hallelujah. And keep the peace when you really want to do something else. Huh? When you want to take another course of action, you got to walk in love. I'm talking about how you're going to break up this fallow ground today. Hallelujah. 
Fallow ground is unusable ground. It's hard. It prevents seeds from penetrating, germinating, and growing to maturity. If you don't break up the fallow ground where you are now, 20 years for later, 20 years later, you're going to be in the same spot. Oh, they're going to have you just got gray hair or more of it. Huh? That's the only thing that's going to change if you don't break up the fallow ground. It is up to you to commit to yourself, I'm better than this. I'm better than the state I'm in. Hallelujah. I know too much to let other folk control my life. Ah, when you refuse to break up the fallow ground because of what somebody said or did, they got control. How many times you saw somebody mistreating you and they the first one jumping up running down the aisle and you want to trip them up? Uh, yes, yes, yes. You want to trip them up. How, and you got to say, that's what you said. How could they have the audacity to get up and call themselves giving God a praise with all the ugly things and how they mistreated me? That ain't your business. Hmm? You got to leave it to God. Huh? You got to leave that stuff in God's hands. God wants you to grow. God wants you to mature. Hallelujah. If a baby is born and if five years later that baby is 12 pounds, guess what? You got a concern. Huh? That baby is not growing. You come to Christ as babes. It is our job as preachers to give you the word. Start you off with the milk of the word. And as you begin to grow, begin to give you the meat of the word. Hallelujah. But guess what? You see those children that suck bottles for a long time? Isn't it amazing? Most of them you see do that, the teeth rot. Huh? Think about it. Maybe y'all haven't seen that. I have. Children that nurse too long, suck the bottle too long. The teeth begin to rot because it doesn't develop. Hallelujah. At some point, you got to grow from milk to meat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to mature in God. So when seeds are planted, hallelujah, you begin to grow. Every time, hallelujah, that somebody come along and minister to you, when you leave that setting, you should have grown. Huh? When the preacher come and began to say, what thus saith the Lord, you spending more time looking at who the word applied to rather than accepting it for yourself. I got to be in a posture that when God's word come, I have to examine that word to see what's in it for me. Oh, he ain't talking to me today. Mm, he, I know he's talking to. He ain't talking to me, huh? He ain't talking to me today. Mm, I know he's talking to. No, you better take the word for yourself. Hallelujah! That you may grow, that you may be able to break up the fallow ground. So moisture, huh? Have you seen clay? Hard clay. Y'all heard what it said that in California, Northern California, where they got all this rain last week. And you know what they said? It won't do much good at all. He said, just going to run off. Why? Because the ground is so hard. Whew, think about that. They don't have 30 inches of rain to fall, and it won't do any good. When God sent his word, huh? and you worried about somebody else, huh? that the word hitting somebody else, it just, you just letting it roll off of you. It ain't doing you no good because no... The moisture of the word is not getting into you. The moisture of God's word cannot penetrate you, and you don't get the benefit of it. Whew. So what? If the moisture is not there, the seed can't grow. Break up the fallow ground. Hallelujah. That you can grow thereby. Break it up. Now, some of you have seen fields, ah, pastures of land, had a lot of trees on it, and Farmer come in and he wants to 
plant corn or, or hay, see, in that field. And they cut the trees down. But guess what? Cutting the trees down, that, that ground still is not ready for seed. You know why? It's a whole lot of stumps. And that's where some of us are today. Got a whole lot of stumps. Them little small stumps, you can take a dig around them, right? But there are some that you have to tie a tractor to and pull up. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. What's the chain? Tie the tractor. And you better be a four-wheel drive. Don't gonna be sliding all over the place, huh? Well, you got to tie that tractor to it and pull that stump up. And guess what? Some of y'all stumps are so big, you carried it so long. Hallelujah. You don't cut the tree off of it, but the stump is still there. And guess what's gonna have to happen? You gotta use dynamite. <sighs> it got to be blown up. Hallelujah. It got to be blown up. Why? Because as long as that stump is there, there are, there are areas in, out here in rural Virginia, you see where the farmer has planted corn or, or planted hay, and you look at it, and there's a nice road going down, and then it turn and go around it because it's still stump there. Huh? Because he know if I run over that stump, ain't nothing going to grow. So he goes around it. Y'all letting stuff go around you when you, can't, you don't get the benefit of it. Hallelujah. Because the stump has to come up. Hallelujah. Mm. Take a whole team of horses. They get some of that mess up and out. What's been growing in your heart? Huh? We got to examine ourselves. I ain't got time to look at Sister Tony. Tony, what's going on? I don't care. What, I mean, I do care about it. But you know what I'm saying? It's not for me right now to worry about what's growing in Tony's heart. I got to be concerned about what's growing in my heart. Whew. What's been there previously? Hatred? Hmm. Bitterness? Lust? Greed? Ah, if you experience any of these things, you got to root them out. Play out that hardness. God can't use a hard-hearted individual. Play out that hardness. You know what? Sometimes we want to play it up. We want to use a little shovel. You got a 20-acre field. And trying to take a little shovel. All day, all life. Uh, you're trying to dig up a stump uh, with just a little shovel. No. Some of these things are going to have to have some heavy equipment. Some of y'all need some heavy equipment. Uh, need some heavy equipment to get rid of this stuff. And I'm not making light of it. I'm just telling us to hey, look at ourselves. You've been bitter with somebody for 20 years. Pass the bitterness on to your children. They mad and don't know why they mad. Huh? Exactly. Generational hatred. Generational bitterness. Huh? Well, we don't like them. That should never be once named among the saints. A new person come in and join the church. I think I shared this the other night. We were talking with Sister Jones, Brother Jones, when they joined a couple of years ago. There's not one past deed that anybody in this church may have done that should have been shared with them. Amen. Amen. Huh? I don't care how what they did made you feel. You deal with how it made you feel. But that don't give you the right to share it with somebody else. You got to pray, oh Lord, deliver me. Hallelujah. Save me from me. Hallelujah. Person come in. Oh, they so sweet. You talking about who? Oh, they as nasty as they can be. Person scratching their head. What are you talking about? All I see is sweetness. Well, you stay wherever long enough, child. You're going to see. Well, guess what? If nastiness is there, they'll see it, but they don't need your help to, to point it out. Let kindness be named among us. Bitterness, greed, 
Plow that stuff up. Hallelujah. If hardness is in your heart, due to what? Hurt. Unbelief. Unbelief is lurking in your soul. You haven't been able to see what God really can do. Well, Pastor, I hear you talking, but I really don't believe it. Well, keep on coming. Keep on praying. And my prayer is what? That the Lord will move it. Bless it if it have to. Because this is, you should not live where thorns and thistles grow. Hmm? Thorns and thistles, bitterness, hatred. In the parable of the sower, some of the good seeds fell among the thorns and thistles, and it couldn't grow. <sighs> and you get upset when somebody came in church the same time you did or after you did, and God is using them. Huh? They're moving forward. They're going on. And you got the nerve to try to search their lives to see where they must be doing something wrong. No, leave them alone. They ain't doing nothing wrong. You the one that's doing something wrong. Huh? Just because you haven't come up, you don't have to try to pull somebody else down. Like the old folks are like a bunch of crabs in the barrel. Huh? Try to pull your brother and sister down because you don't want to grow. Huh? You don't want to move from the place that you're in. Ah, they say you used to have a song a few years back, 20 but 30 some years ago. There's a leak in this old building. And my soul has got to move. Hallelujah. If you find out that where you are is not good for habitation, if you find out that what's going on in your life is not good for a productive life if you find out that you can't grow where you are hallelujah you can't grow in the state that you're in move out and take your soul with you move from that place hallelujah hallelujah God will help you pull up the bras all those thorns and thistles that you've been trying to grow in, the Lord is saying, I want to do something for you. Think about it. If you have a vineyard, and that's a few growing, a few vineyards around here, but they got to keep them clean. If they're going to be productive, the vine dresser had to go through every so often and make it sure ain't nothing strange growing up around it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the owner may not see it, but the one that's the vine dress would go and look. Uh, that's not good. And if that keep on growing, it's going to choke out the good thing. Don't you realize when there's hatred and bitterness, hallelujah, when you got fallow ground developing in you, hallelujah, when you would grow, when you would have production, you don't have it because those things are choking it out. Whew. God don't want to choke it out today. God wants you to develop. Hallelujah. I know I'm accused of being a long-winded preacher. I ain't going to do it today. Because I just want you to take this. I just want you to rest in this. I want you to say, huh, don't worry about who, who the word was talking to. Huh, says, Lord, is it me? Huh? Am I in fallow ground? I've allowed the hardness and the bitterness of life cause me to be in a bad place. Hallelujah. Because the word is saying to us today, break up the fallow ground. Why? Because you got to grow. Break up the fallow ground. Why? Because it's time to seek the Lord. You can't seek the Lord the way he wants you to seek him. Hallelujah. When you are still hanging on to old mess. <sighs> and I'm just telling you this. When you let that stuff go, things going to start growing around you. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to be a light to somebody else. Somebody's going to look at you, your fields and say, I want my fields to be like that. For those of you who raise gardens, have you not driven through the countryside 
and you see somebody's garden that look better than yours, huh? every row is straight, every head of cabbage, every tomato plant is perfectly spaced, huh? yours zigzagging all over the place, huh? and you got the nerve to say, I wish my garden looked like their garden, but I'm here today to let you know that God is saying, I'll straighten up your garden. Hallelujah. If you just break up the phallogram, if you would get rid of all that stuff, hallelujah, if you would break it up, ah, yes, sir, and begin to seek my face, hallelujah. He says, seek my face, hallelujah. Seek me early in the morning. Seek me late at night. Hallelujah, Lord. Bring about a deliverance in my life. Hallelujah. Break up the fallow ground. Hallelujah. It's time to seek the Lord. Bring up the fallow ground. For it's time to seek the Lord. Bring up the fallow ground. It's time now to seek the Lord. Don't be saying, well, y'all don't understand. I don't need to understand. If it's not like God, he's not going to honor it. Amen. Anything that's not like God, God is not going to honor. Amen. Let's go back. Let's go back. To our Father's praying ground. God's not pleased. Let's go back home, bend the knee. Oh, too far away, we have strayed. Now and then our soul is saved. Let's go back to our Father's praying ground. Oh, let's go back, let's go back. To our fathers, praying ground. God's not pleased. Let's go back home, bend the knees. Oh, too far away, we have strayed. Now and then, our soul is saved. Let's go back, to our fathers, praying ground. Go back. 
I should feel lighter today. Somebody should be saying, I got what I need from the Lord. Huh? I've got just what I need from the Lord. And I feel brand new. So will you if you let the Lord come into your life. Change my burden lighter. Change my pathway brighter. Every sister, Lord, come into my life. Hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless for the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever and may the people of God say Amen.